in the previous video i had showed you how to program an avr microcontroller using the usb asp programmer if you want to go more cheaper as usb asp cost around 200 inr we can also use db9 serial port to program avr microcontroller it will only cost around 15 inr and I will show you the whole procedure to program the microcontroller using the software named Pony Prog 2000. So let's get started. One thing we need to understand that we are using the SPI protocol. That means to program an AVR microcontroller, we need MOSI, MISO, S clock, and reset signals. To produce those signals, there are number of circuit diagram available out there. You can search it on Google. But I have come up with this diagram having the minimal components that worked for me. And we will follow the standard to generate these signals. Without wasting time, I gathered all the required components and started to build the circuit. First, solder the 5 points of the DB9 pin. This way, the connector won't move. After that, place the resistors, one transistor, diode and solder them accordingly to the circuit diagram. Here it is. Now, if you had watched my earlier video, I had made this programming cable which get placed from pin number 6. But now I have made the same wire without the crystal oscillator because we are going to use the 1 MHz internal oscillator of the Atmega32. Again placing the wire from pin number 6 and placing the LED on pin number 1 with a current limiting resistor. Plug the DB9 connector in the serial port. Provide external 5V supply to the microcontroller. See, this is the C program written in the AVR Studio 4 to toggle the LED. The first three lines defines the crystal frequency that is 1 MHz. Then including the header files that are avr io.h and util slash delay.h to provide the delay. Then we are toggling all the pins of port B with 200 milliseconds continuously and at last building the code to upload the code to the avr microcontroller open ponyproc 2000 go to settings select serial and si proc io click on erase and see it shows erase successful then choose open flash program and open the .hex file which is generated in the specific folder and see the hex values get changed from ff to something that we can read only. Then click on write flash. See it's writing and verifying. After verifying it says write successful and now our LED is blinking with 200 milliseconds break.